1984 and 1985 cars, we had this cluster, which looked kind of bland, you know, because there wasn't, like, a lot going on. It didn't really give the, in my opinion, the little sporty appeal. The, the cluster lit up in green, which is cool, but in my opinion, I could do better. So, Sunday, I did. This is a cluster out of a 1986 Toyota Corolla AEX SR5. And as you can see, it is a very different looking cluster. The design is a lot better. It's a lot brighter, too. It's a lot whiter. The, ga the needles are different. And, here's a, here's a bonus. The tack sweep is a lot better, and it all works, as I'm about to show. It all works. It is a lot more responsive, and the uh, speedo and the uh, speedometer is a heck of a lot smoother too. <laughs> now on to how to get this thing in here and out of here, which is what I'm going to show next. There are three Phillips head screws, one here and two under here. There are also three Phillips head screws up here. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. But that ain't gonna get it, get this get this cluster, get this trim piece out. You also have to pull straight up on these, and then pull on these things. This one always gives me a hard time. <laughs> there it is. Can you see that? That's a nut. You remove that. And then you do it the same on this side. Don't forget to remember where your illuminator is for your lights on your cluster lights. And then you pull these out too. And then this comes out. And then you have four screws there, 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 and there. And then you also have two connections, one here and one here. It may look like four connections, but it's just two. And then you just pull straight out, and straight behind here is the where the speedometer cable is. You just push this in, push in everything. Before you put everything back together, start the cluster up to make sure it all works. P tidy everything back up, and you're ready to go. As for the idea of what to do with the mileage, because you can see I'm 4,000 miles ahead. Apparently I drove the distance of California and then some in one day. You can put it back. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may put it back. I may not. It's my preference, because it's still very low miles. Here on the back is where you can see all the fun. All these are your light bulbs. You just turn and they pop right out. And if you see this one's green. All the ones that are marked, like in some sort of fashion, they're colored. A lot of people like to do is switch these out with like LEDs and whatnot. Well, these bulbs are actually really easy to come by, so you can just switch them out with whites. Or LEDs, whatever you want. No, use the small ones. To split this thing apart, all you have to do is press down these three tabs here up top, pull it a little, and then pull these right here, and then you get you into here. If you want to reset this to zero, you put the 
tack arm to eight and you like tap it. That's from what I've read online. And it slowly goes back to zero. My opinion, I like the new cluster. It's a lot better than this one. I think it looks a lot better. More importantly, what I didn't mention was that when you turn on the the lights at night, it lights up in white instead of green, which I really like. I really like this cluster. And future videos coming up will include a new series on suspension tech and also a new series on roads that I like to drive. So I hope you enjoy this and the upcoming videos. This is 84Hachi signing off.